Oh, Jesus Christ, they're armed! Get down, Ashley! McDivitt. Hi, what's going on? We've been discussing the uh, Mustafa case. The trial's coming up next week, and we found, uh, thanks to um, Detective Callahan and his little brass shootout back on his street, we found another hideout of Tony Black. Yeah, that was on the uh, 11 o'clock news, by the way. 11 o'clock news? Who? That information was supposed to be released. Who released it? I'm pretty sure it leaked from the MCU. Damn MCU. You know, that's a problem with this police department, Rockwell. For about the past 20 years, we've been losing men after men to corruption and crime, and this damn Mayor Holland doesn't want to do anything about it. It's, it's tragic. How are we supposed to protect this big city of Newark when we don't even have the materials ourselves to do anything? So I'm stuck in this office doing absolutely nothing, while Tony Black and that Mustafa Cabell danced around and killed people. That just ain't right. Yeah, I mean, it's bad, but what can we do about it? That's the key, Rockwell. That's the key to our redemption for this police department. This trial against Mustafa is our way out of this hellhole. All that evidence against Mustafa I can use to bypass that stupid Judge Walker, 
and I can take it right to the Attorney General of Ohio, and we can go after this Tony Black without Judge Walker interfering. I don't know if you've noticed, but as of late, Judge Walker's really been putting a stranglehold on a lot of our cases. Yeah, Judge Walker has uh, definitely made it really hard for us to fight this uh, crime problem. And it's another good example of bureaucracy at its finest, regardless of political ideology. Yeah, but you have to understand, sometimes you have to be willing to cross that line to get things done. What are you now, Frank Callahan? Pull yourself together real right well. There's one problem in this police department, and that is that Callahan. He's always in here complaining. All the time. He's never been the same after his old man died, and he's definitely gone insane after his wife Ashley was killed. There's one man that goes well above and beyond the law that's our problem here. <sighs> Technically, you're the one who let this dog off its leash. You should have thought about these outcomes a long time ago. When I hired Callahan, he was perfectly fine, but the, his father being killed by Black, now Mustafa who murdered his wife, it's just it's out of control. Perfectly fine? He acts just like his father and always has. I'm sure you've noticed it. Unfortunately, yes. Tanner Callahan really tarnished our police department image that we only just got it polished up again. And now this blunder is another, another shot in the foot. Oh well, if we weren't working with cops that are corrupt, <laughs> we'd be working alone. You know, you've got a lot of balls to say a lot of this stuff in my office today in Rockwell. But because you're one of the best we have in this whole police department, I'm going to let them all slide. I just want this damn trial over with. I want Mustafa in prison. I want that information that we have from his hideout. And I want him to find Tony Black. And I want to put this all to rest. I want justice. Alright, well, I'll let you get back to your phone call. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, Rockwell. I'll see you then. McDivitt? Yeah, sorry about that. Um, you were saying? Come on, let's go. Keep moving. Hey! Stay front. Look forward. Yeah, I'll get to that later. All right, you're gonna clean this fucking place, Prisoner 54. You got that? Yeah, whatever. Get to it. Yeah, I like that, yeah. Keep the work over there, Prisoner 54. Chief? Just checking in. Uh huh. Where's 54? 54? Yeah. Yeah, I got him down here cleaning storage. You have everything under control? Yeah, everything under control.
down, motherfucker. Get up, bitch. Mustafa sends his regards. You ready to die? Because your little girl's next. Where's Mustafa? I don't fucking know. Where's Mustafa? Why don't you ask Walker, bitch? Jay Carnegie was a real psychopath. We went to interrogate him after the old incident. Nothing useful I got out of him. Well, we know how your interrogations go. Soft. Soft, Rockwell. You're out of your mind. I've been here longer than you and your father, and this is what I'm hearing from you. If you think that you can do better than myself than interrogating Carnegie, be my guest. I'll let the prison know and they can send him right back here. Well, did you read this entire file? I have so many things I have to do. Do you think I have time for it? Well, if you would have read it, it says right here that he's a schizophrenic. Now, why would Tony Black hire a schizophrenic to be one of his right-hand men? Because they're psychopaths. They're violent. No, because anything he says wouldn't hold up in a court of law. Oh my god, what did I just do? So I hate to tell you this, but you just wasted your entire morning in an interrogation room for nothing. Well, it wouldn't have mattered much anyway. With Judge Walker, we have to put everything through him. I don't have faith at all. Well, I think we're going to have to solve this case my way. That's a very dangerous belief, Rockwell. We're doing it by the book, by the state laws of the revised code. What you're doing is dangerous. If you're not comfortable with it, I understand. I just ask. Lieutenant, laws are meaningless unless you can enforce them. We took an oath to protect this community. And doing things by the book just hasn't been doing it lately. Well, your little speech is nice and all, but it's not helping us find this Tony Black. You know what? It's not helping any of us. You take the day off. I gotta go.